Six years in the making, this brand new Las Vegas attraction is out of this world. It's called the Las Vegas Sphere. Not only is this $2.3 billion entertainment venue the largest freestanding structure on the Las Vegas Strip, but it's also the only one that can transform itself in the blink of an eye. Viral moments like these are made possible thanks to the 1.2 million LEDs that cover the sphere's 580,000 square foot exterior, making it the largest fully programmable LED display on the planet. And if you think that's impressive, well, you haven't seen anything yet. The sphere is finally open to the public, and people from all around the globe are now discovering the real magic that's waiting inside. Las Vegas is a city built by people who dream big dreams. Entrepreneurs who aren't afraid to take a risk. Because sometimes it takes a grand madness to have the vision building a place that we've never experienced before. This is uh, the kind of project where you have to stretch and you take a risk. Tonight is when we see how that risk pays off. At the heart of the Sphere experience is the relationship between technology and human potential. This experience begins the moment you walk into the grand atrium of the Sphere. This is a multi-level interactive environment that looks like a cross between Tron and Star Trek, complete with 50-foot glowing holographic wall displays and even a few talking robots. This is Aura, one of five humanoid spoke spots designed to guide visitors through a number of exhibits found in the Grand Atrium. The Aura robots can have full-on conversations with guests. Do you like punk rock music? I do actually, how do you know? I can tell by your shirt. Take selfies and even give live demonstrations of the Sphere's one-of-a-kind sound system. I would love to present a demonstration using the speakers behind me. Designed by immersive audio technology company Holoplot, this 167,000 speaker sound system uses two different cutting-edge technologies to create the ultimate listening experience. The first is 3D beamforming technology, which uses hundreds of speakers to create invisible beams of sound. Whether it's different instruments or different languages, these sound beams can be projected towards any seat in the audience. This means everyone can enjoy the same sound quality, regardless of where they're sitting. The second technology is called wave field synthesis. This creates a three-dimensional sound field that surrounds the listener, making them feel like they're right in the middle of the action. Roman Sick is the CEO of Holoplot, and he predicts these technologies will have a major impact on how we experience live entertainment in the future. This will change the industry. Every time something of that scale is done for the first time, there is you know, a lot of skepticism whether this can work, etc. The expectation in the general public or in the consumer, so to say, is also rising, right? So if we go out to have live entertainment experiences, they really need to level up. Audio isn't the only thing the Sphere is pushing the boundaries of. It also offers a variety of 4D features. 10,000 of the 17,000 available seats vibrate and shake in coordination with the visuals being displayed. Simulated wind and even bursts of scented air can be piped into the theater, making it the first venue to offer this level of multi-sensory immersion. But the real star of the show is this 160,000 square foot wraparound interior screen. Made up of 64,000 video tiles, it's capable of displaying video at a remarkable 16K resolution, the largest and highest resolution LED screen in the world. So large, in fact, that Sphere Studios had to create their own custom camera system just to make content that can match the size of the screen. This is Big Sky, a brand new cinema camera that features an 18K by 18K custom image sensor designed specifically for capturing incredibly detailed, large format images. As the first to get his hands on this 316 megapixel monster, Award-winning director Darren Aronofsky recently described the unique set of challenges he encountered while creating Postcard from Earth, the first immersive film experience to premiere at the Sphere. It took about 12 people to turn this camera on because there was like fans and overheating. So the camera outputs 32 gigs per second. So like a movie on your hard drive is three gigs. So this is 30 gigs, 32 gigs per second to make an 18K image. So the amount of information was just was kind of mind blowing. From Liberace to Lady Gaga, classic crooners, and of course, the king himself, Las Vegas has been a home away from home for many of the biggest acts in the music business for more than 70 years. As the first headliners to be offered a residency at the Sphere, legendary Irish rock band U2 and their creative team certainly had their work cut out for them. It's bigger than I even remembered. 
Look at the size of it. Tasked with the unique challenge of designing a show for a venue that had not yet been built, U2's creative director, Willie Williams, along with a team of trusted collaborators, spent nearly two years preparing for opening night. CEO of The Sphere, James Dolan, was about to find out whether his $2.3 billion gamble was about to pay off, and U2 was about to find out if they could live up to the hype of this one-of-a-kind venue. These are the top five jaw-dropping moments from U2 UV, live at The Sphere. Building anticipation is important to kick off any great concert, and boy did U2 set the stage with this monumental optical illusion. Inspired by Japanese architect Tadao Ando's Church of Light, the show begins with the very walls of the sphere appearing to crack open, revealing a crucifix of heavenly white light. This transitions to an abstract video collage, filling the entire auditorium with analog archival footage from the band's iconic Zoo TV tour in 1992 a creative nod to their past as they step into a high-tech future. One of the most unforgettable parts of the show has to be during the performance of The Fly, when the entire screen appears to suddenly transform into something straight out of the Matrix. Expanding in time with the music, this colorful spectacle slowly forms a tunnel that seems to go on forever, until suddenly it begins to collapse back in on itself, falling towards the audience as if about to crush them. Williams describes how the engineering behind the sphere made this effect possible. One of the things that's really interesting about this building is because it's spherical, there are no corners, and corners are what help you define space. And so if you mess with that, we can really take people into some interesting places. The next jaw-dropping moment on our list is this hypnotic video collage made by film director and video artist Marco Brambilla. As a longtime pioneer of emerging technologies, Brambila used a combination of advanced AI and CGI techniques to condense over 12,000 film samples of Elvis Presley's performances and movies into this epic animated collage made up of 1,000 looped video clips. In honor of the rise and fall of Las Vegas legend and America's most celebrated pop culture icon, it's no wonder he named this artwork King Size. But Brambila wasn't the only one hired by the band to create a larger-than-life masterpiece for the show. Irish artist John Gerard constructed this panoramic scene of the sun traveling through the Nevada desert up and over a billowing white flag. The flag is meant to be a symbol of surrender, pointing towards a world less dependent on fossil fuels. And although it may look completely real, the entire scene was made using real-time computer graphics software. The position of the sun, shadows, and even the stars match a real site near the Mojave Desert. From entire hotels and casinos to your life savings, Vegas has a knack for making things vanish into thin air. Not the type to be upstaged by the past, U2 approached legendary American motion picture visual effects company, Industrial Light and Magic, to create their own magic trick. Taking full advantage of all 268 million pixels available to them, a team of 20 visual effects artists crafted this photorealistic CG version of the Las Vegas skyline as seen from the exact point of view of the audience. Not only does this create the illusion of a vanishing sphere, but the entire city appears to deconstruct itself back in time. This is what Las Vegas looked like a hundred years ago. Wow. As if making Las Vegas disappear wasn't enough, U2 still had one last trick up their sleeve. The last jaw-dropping moment of the show ends with the audience transported back in time millions of years before the arrival of civilization. A mysterious polished orb sits center stage as the surrounding landscape slowly becomes flooded with water. Backed by a choir of 18,000 fans singing their heart out, the orb floats toward the audience, then explodes into a glowing cathedral dedicated to Nevada's 250 most endangered species. The artist behind the illustrations is Ez Devlin, a longtime collaborator of the band and no stranger to large-scale productions. We wanted to kind of consecrate and dedicate in this kind of baptism of a new building, um, the end of the show, to this particular place on the planet. So what do you think? Is the Las Vegas sphere the future of live entertainment? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, and while you're at it, watch another video here.